Thank you, Sujan and Sharon, for inviting me. Uh, uh, I'm really happy to present my work. So, <clears throat> so I think you can hear me clearly. Yeah, we can hear you. So, uh, so I, I want to talk about uh, uh, some ergodic the the theory on, but 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 on non-commutative setting. Okay. So, uh, and this is a joint work with uh, Gui Xiang Hong and uh, and Simon Wang. So. So here is the plan of my talk. So uh, first, I'll try. Uh, I, I, I try to uh, tell you about some classical uh, ergodic theorems, and and then I'll try to explain my setup. So and uh, which involves a non-commutative uh, generalization of our classical uh, familiar LP spaces, and also I'll. <coughs> I'll just I'll describe uh, one important ergodic theorem uh, by by Jung and Shu, okay, which, which is really a very uh, uh, nice result in this direction. <clears throat> and then I'll explain what I have done with Gu Xiang and Shimong uh, in this direction. So <clears throat> so first I'll I'll start with some classical ergodic theorems. So <clears throat> suppose we have a measure space. Omega with some measure mu uh, on omega, and and suppose we have a measurable map uh, tau from omega to omega, and which preserves the measure. Okay, so that means the push-forward measure induced by tau is nothing but the original original measure itself. Okay, so uh, then you call this tau to be measure-preserving transformation. So uh, the best way of uh, Thinking, I, one of the one of the good ways of thinking this tau as a shift. Okay, so if you have, uh, if you take omega to be the set of all real numbers, and uh, this mu to be uh, the Lebesgue measure, then uh, the trans the translation operator is actually a <coughs> measure preserving transformation, because uh, translation uh, the Lebesgue measure is uh, translation invariant. So this is a good example of. Uh, measure preserving uh, transformation and whenever you have a, a, a transformation of this kind then you can always uh, take a function f on omega and you can compose it with tau and you get a new function you denote it by uh, t of f and this this uh, t is linear in f and this is called uh, the the Koopman operator, or sometimes well, people say that composition operator. So, so the first uh, ergodic theorem uh, actually uh, so 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 uh, the, there was ergodic theorems by Barkov and uh, also by von Neumann. So, but I'll I'll tell you uh, the ergodic theorem of Barkov, which says that. Suppose you have a measure preserving uh, transformation on uh, on omega, and you take a f in LP space, uh, where p is in this range, and then you form this average. Okay, this average is is nothing but you take f, then plus f compose tau plus f compose uh, tau square, and then all the way to f composed with tau to the power n minus one, and then you just divide this by one by n, this sum. So <laughs> this is called the time average, discrete time average. And you can write it in terms of Cookman operator in this way. So one by n summation over i from zero to n minus one t to the power i f. So what Barkov's ergodic theorem tells you that you take uh, a f from LP and these time averages they converge pointwise almost everywhere. Okay, so and uh, not only that, if you know that uh, if you know that 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 that, that uh, measure preserving transformation is ergodic, whatever that is, then you also know where where it converges. You, you know so and that is nothing but the integration omega over f. Okay, so so obviously you also need, need uh, this omega to be a probability space, but uh, yeah, so so it says that uh, the time averages they converge pointwise almost everywhere, and if uh, 
omega is a probability space and if you, you know that uh, the the actually converges to the space average okay so this is uh, barkov's uh, ergodic theorem so uh, okay so now uh, the second ergodic theorem which i want to uh, talk about is uh, is by dunford and swartz dunford uh, dunford and swartz ergodic theorem which says that uh, now you you start with a operator with an operator t from l1 to l1 which is bounded uh, operator and which is a contraction okay so i should i should have written it here so this t is a, is a contraction from l1 to l1 and also suppose t is a contraction from l infinity to l infinity so so t is well defined in, in some dense uh, common dense uh, subspace of l infinity l infinity and l1 and t is contraction on from l1 l1 to l1 and l infinity to l infinity so then uh, this t is called a dunford swartz operator and it happens that uh, the, uh, the the ergodic theorem uh, proved by dunford and swartz uh, tells you that if uh, if you have a positive dunford swartz operator then the uh, the time averages so you can you can define the time averages uh, like this uh, so again again this time averages they they converges uh, almost everywhere okay for all f in l1 and actually for all f in lp but not for f in l infinity for for f in l infinity neither uh, barkov or dunford swartz uh, is true so <laughs> but uh, one thing to notice uh, uh, is that this ergodic theorem is is actually uh, better than barkov's ergodic theorem because uh, if you have this kupman operator so because of this uh, because of measure preserving property this kupman operator is an isometric for all p p not, not equal to uh, infinity and for p is equal to infinity it's actually a contraction and t is positive so it takes positive functions and um, um, sends uh, sends it to a positive function so 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 this kupman operators they are they fall in the category of dunford swartz operators so actually so actually uh, dunford dunford swartz uh, ergodic theorem is better than uh, is more general than uh, barkov's ergodic theorem now so so there are two references one by uh, this this book uh, ergodic theorems by uh, krengel you can you can look at it and there is one more book uh, uh, which is called operator theoretic aspects of ergodic theory by uh, these four people so you can try to uh, look look at those books and find uh, the motivation that why mathematicians started studying these kind of problems okay so uh, but 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 there is one thing i mean in dunford swartz ergodic theorem which is general than uh, which is general than uh, uh, barkov's ergodic theorem so this this operator t this operator t is actually bounded automatically bounded for all lp okay so this is just uh complex interpolation theorem by restoring since, since it's a bounded operator actually contraction from l1 to l1 and, and l infinity to l infinity by restoring complex interpolation theorem it is, it is actually bounded for all lp it, it is actually a contraction for all lp so <clears throat> but uh, but what happened uh, if we have one uh, positive uh, contraction from lp to lp you can ask about that uh, that type of uh, you can you can ask if uh, if you can prove a ergodic theorem for that kind of operator so that means ergodic theorem for a single p okay so so suppose uh, so in this direction uh, stein and tuleka they proved this uh, ergodic theorem that you, you fix a p strictly between uh, strictly between uh, one and infinity and suppose t is a positive isometry from lp to lp so so this t is different from Barkov, uh, barkov's uh, the, the the t appearing in uh, barkov's ergodic theorem the kupman operator because the kupman operator is a positive isometry uh, for all p but but here we we are talking about a uh, we are starting with a t uh, which is which is in a uh, which is a positive isometry for a fixed lp so this may not be a um, operator of uh, kupman operator type okay so <clears throat> and but still we can Uh, you can prove a ergodic theorem so you can show that the time averages they converges pointwise almost everywhere 
Okay, so uh, this was proved by uh, Stein for p uh, p is equal to two, and then uh, actually Uleka solved for p not equal to two. So 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 this uh, ergodic theorem is better than uh, is is more general than Barkov's ergodic theorem at least if uh, p between p is strictly between one and infinity. So uh, but 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 uh, you cannot but Dunford Swartz and this ergodic theorem is not comparable yet. Okay, so. So now, uh, okay. So it was an open problem in, in ergodic theory for a long time, actually, and then finally Akaguru solved it. So it says that if you have a p strictly between one and infinity, and you start with a positive contraction from LP to LP, okay, then again the you, you can form the uh, you can form uh, time averages, and and those time averages they actually converge pointwise almost everywhere. Or all f in LP. So here, so uh, so, so actually, uh, this T. So Akaguru's algorithm theorem is more general than uh, Danford Swartz. So Danford Swartz uh, op operators they are automatically positive contractions, but for all LP. So but here also here again, Akaguru's in Akaguru's uh, algorithm theorem, this operator T, it may be a positive contraction from for some LP, but may not be a positive contraction for some, for some other LP. Okay, so, so Akaguru's ergodic theorem is actually more general than Danford Swartz. And, <clears throat> okay, and, and, and for P is equal to one and infinity, uh, both uh, Tuleka Stein's ergodic theorem and Akaguru's ergodic theorem are not, not true. So, <clears throat> and then one more er ergodic theorem, so which I want to talk about. Uh, uh, was proved was proved by uh, Khan, so which says that if you have uh, a operator t from LP to LP, okay. positive power bounded power bounded means the usual sense, and which is Lamparty with with the adjoint being Lamparty operator again. So Lamparty means uh, if you have if you have two f and g in LP with disjoint support, then TF and TG, they also have disjoint support. So, so they have another name uh, called, uh, they are called uh, support separating operators. So the separate supports. So, 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 so T is uh, T separate supports and T star also separate supports. So T is that kind of operator, which is positive and power bounded. Then again, you have, uh, you have similar uh, ergodic theorem. And also, this is true for one single p. Okay, so one thing to notice is that one basic fact is that if t is a t is a uh, if t is an isometric uh, isomorphism, okay, so then then actually t satisfies all these properties. So so in in Ionescu Tuleka and Stein's ergodic theorem, if you take to be a if you take t to be a positive invertible isometry. If you take t to be a positive invertible isometry, then uh, then actually this t satisfies all this property. Uh, all these properties, power bounded is easy because t is already a contraction, and but 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 isometry implies Lamparty or support separating always. So, so in that sense, uh, Kant's ergodic theorem is little better than uh, Tuleka and Stein's ergodic theorem uh, because it also talks about uh, power bounded operators, not, not necessarily uh, contractions. Okay. Now, so, so my aim is actually uh, uh, now to uh, give you a general, general recipe uh, uh, in which a general uh, method by which you can uh, deduce all these ergodic theorems. Okay. So, I mean, they work in different situation differently, but there is a, a general procedure Okay, so this is called uh, this is called Banach's principle. Okay, so what you what you want to do? You 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 want this? Uh, okay, in, in every case you want this a and t. You have a sequence of operators a and t, and you want to show that this uh, sequence of operators and you take a function f, then this a and t f they converge pointwise almost everywhere, right? This is this this is, this is the goal. So, so you have a sequence of bounded linear operators, suppose uh, for Tn on LP, and uh, so some you fix some P. 
you fix some p uh, between one and infinity, and you have a sequence of boundary linear operators on LP. <clears throat> and then you define this maximal uh, operator. So you take a function f in LP, uh, then you look at TNF uh, of x, and you take supremum over all n greater than equal to zero. So you have a you have a maximal. Uh, this is also called maximal function. And so this m is actually is is it is not linear that you can see. This is sublinear, and uh, and this m is actually this this kind of function. This maximal function is very popular actually in Fourier analysis also. And so so we say. Uh, we, we say that this Tn, uh, the sequence of operators Tn, they satisfy, the, they satisfy a weak type one on uh, inequality. If uh, you have a non-trivial bound decay, you know a decay on the distribution. So you take any positive lambda and you consider this set MF greater than, equal to, greater than or equal to lambda, the measure of this set is less than or equal to some constant times uh, an Elon norm of F uh, into uh, lambda inverse. So <clears throat> this is the definition of weak type 1, 1. And the strong type PP is just normal uh, LP to LP boundedness. So, um, so for all F in LP, um, the, the norm of uh, MF is bounded by some constant times uh, uh, norm of F. So, and, the, and uh, these constants, they, they do not depend on this, uh, these functions F, right? So, and then if, if any of the above inequalities for, uh, for uh, uh, so if A and P, those, those uh, time averages, the, so each time average uh, induces an operator from LP to LP. And it is easy to see that uh, most of the cases, uh, they are bounded operators. So we want to, so, um, so uh, if A and P satisfies uh, this kind of inequality for some P, maybe for P is equal to one, it satisfies uh, a weak type one one inequality, or for for some other p, it satisfies a uh, the strong PP inequality, whatever. So uh, we call that A and T satisfies a, a maximal ergodic inequality. Okay, you can you can say this. So now we have this principle which says that, that you have suppose you know pointwise ergodic uh, uh, pointwise convergence for a dense subspace of LP. And then you also know this kind of inequality, this kind of a kind of an inequality is true. Then you know individual ergodic theorem. So you know pointwise convergence for all function in LP. So this is very useful, actually. This, so so the, this is the this is the main way uh, one can prove all the previous ergodic theorems. So so uh, so what you do that you uh, you uh, you define this m uh, this 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 maximal operator m. Um, for each of each each of them, and you try to prove uh, uh, an inequality, either weak type or strong uh, strong type, and then you you want to find a dense subspace on which the pointwise convergence uh, convergence is true, and then you have the ergodic theorem. So so, so actually the uh, you know all of this the uh, difficult task is is to uh, uh, get uh, a maximal ergodic inequality. So that is the main step. But, but there are other proofs also. There are other proof, uh, uh, proofs of Barkov ergodic theorem which do not uh, use um, uh, uh, this maximal ergodic inequality or Banach's principle. Okay. And and this type of I want to I should say that this type of uh, this type of uh, uh, method is very useful in uh, classical Fourier analysis. So so uh, so if you if you uh, consider uh, uh, continuous uh, continuous time averages in, instead of di uh, discrete time averages, and then you you can ask the same type of questions. If if uh, when when the time average go, goes to infinity, uh, do you have a pointwise convergence or not? But you can also ask when time time goes to zero, what happens? Do you have some 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 kind, some kind of convergence or not? So uh, to, and, and that is really related to Fourier series convergence of Fourier series and all, all those uh, like uh, like Lebesgue differentiation theorem. So, but but all of them, you, you you can you have to you have to prove this kind of a strong P, strong PP or weak one one type inequality. Then you are done. So there is also something called Dubs inequality, which also falls in uh, in this uh, this kind of uh, theme. So this is a very very general uh, principle. 
so so this is all about uh, this is all i have for uh, uh, classical ergodic theorems now i'll go to non commutative ergodic theorems but first i'll go to my setup so <clears throat> so we know that this is a uh, the the, the non commutative philosophy is actually to replace commutative algebras by suitable non commutative algebras right so and and so uh, so in our case uh, we want to get a non commutative analog of classical lp spaces so we have this ln infinity omega which is actually a star algebra and so the right substitute for uh, this uh, this commutative algebra uh, is a von neumann algebra which is nothing but a weak operator topology closed unital star sub algebra of uh, b of h where h is a hilbert space so 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 you, you can think of a von neumann algebra as a non commutative measure space where you have lot of similar properties of of, of ln infinity omega like it's a star algebra and there are some other things but but this it's not commutative anymore okay so now uh, so i i want to define the notion of uh, trace on a von neumann algebra so uh, so suppose we have a von neumann algebra so obviously it is contained in b of a so 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 uh, you can you can define something called uh, the positive part of the von neumann algebra and it follows from some basic theorems on von neumann algebra basically double commutative theorem and so on that actually this m plus all positive elements in the von neumann algebra it's actually contained in the von neumann, von neumann algebra so 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 we have a we have a trace uh, that means what so so this is a i, I should say uh, this is a non commutative analog of integration so we have this m which is a non commutative measure space you can think and then we want to uh, want to integrate we want to uh, we want to develop a theory of integration on on this uh, this kind of spaces okay and so what uh, so so we have a we have a uh, uh, linear functional we have a linear function on the positive part of the von neumann algebra which is linear or not linear i mean you should say positive linear so this lambda is positive Tau of x plus lambda y is equal to tau x plus lambda tau y, and then we have this property tau of x x star is equal is equal to tau of x star x. This is called normality. Uh, no, this is uh, this is called tracial property. This is a this is a, a tracial property, and then you have something like a like a Morton convergence theorem. You can you can think of think 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 like that, so, and that is normality, and then you have faithful if tau is injective. You can say. and there is one more property i am not going into that so so um, and if tau of 1 the the uh, if the uh, if tau of 1 is 1 then uh, this uh, this von neumann algebra is called uh, a non commutative probability space so so just you take you take uh, this ln uh, the positive part of ln infinity omega and so this is just all functions in ln infinity which are which are actually positive then you can define a um, linear or not linear you can define a function that tau of f is equal to integration omega f so this is defined on the positive bounded functions to closed infinity and it has all those properties so so this this tau of x you have positive element x and tau of x is nothing but uh, a non commutative analog of integration omega f okay so that's why tau 1 is equal to 1 then it's a non commutative probability space so and one more example so uh, a good example uh, is actually uh, uh, some real non commutative example is to trace of a top ma matrix okay so you have a you have a the positive part of bh and you can define the usual trace and you can think that you can think that uh, you can think that uh, you can you can check that check that it satisfies all the properties so so in my talk uh, if you, if you want you can you can always think this m as set of all n cross n matrices and this tau is nothing but the usual trace the sum of all the diagonal elements you can think like you can you can you can just uh, you can just think uh, in that way so there are some other examples also on group von neumann algebra so there are many semi finite uh, many von neumann algebras with equipped with this kind of trace but there there are von neumann algebras which are not but but i i'm going to uh, uh, talk about uh, only on von neumann algebra which has this kind of a nice trace so and for a von neumann algebra which has a which has a trace you can you can actually uh, define uh, you can actually define uh, 
this this object you can you can take all uh, all element x in the form of algebra which has uh, finite support that means the you can define support uh, is a list projection for which ex is, is, is equal to x so 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 and so what you do is actually you defined uh, this uh, this 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 norm norm x p is equal to tau of mod x to the p whole to the power 1 by p so this is natural right so if you think this tau to be integration and you just replace x to be a function so then we know the lp norm is integration mod f to the power p whole to the power 1 by p so this is nothing but that but now what are, what the, the way the non commutative lp space is constructed i mean there are many ways but uh, one of them is that you define uh, you, you 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 take some good subspace on which this makes sense i mean this may not be a, for, for for any uh, x in the form of algebra this may not be a finite quantity so you, you take a good subspace on which it makes uh, it makes sense and you can show that it is actually a norm on on that subspace but that subspace may not be closed then you take a close uh, take take a closer in, with respect to this norm and then you get the non non commutative lp space and this sm which i am writing here is is nothing but you can think of it as all functions with finite with support uh, which has uh, uh, <clears throat> You can think of this all fu all functions uh, which are support with uh, uh, finite measures uh, supported on finite measures uh, kind of set. Okay, like characteristic functions, a uh, little better than characteristic function, but uh, the the measures the support uh, supports are finite always. Okay, so and there are so so this is a this is an indirect way of defining non commutative space, but there are some other ways. Okay, very direct way. The classical situation we define. The space, um, uh, uh, the way we define this space is that you take uh, all uh, functions, measurable functions, for which uh, integration mod f to the p is finite, and then that is a, uh, and 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 then you, 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 uh, under some equivalence equivalence relation, you, you define LP spaces. But here we, we are taking a defined approach. You can say that you take all cat, uh, all characteristic functions with uh, such that money. Uh, functions with uh, which looks like some kind of alpha I, uh, indicator functions of ei but ei has finite uh, measures you define this norm and then you uh, complete it so that will be again as lp space because we know uh, uh, this, this uh, simple functions they are dense i mean in lp space but so so you can also have uh, this uh, the, the the convention uh, the the usual approach that we take uh, for lp space and that is through actually you need to you can you can define the, like uh, the way we define measurable functions or uh, we can you can also define measurable op operators okay so there is a, there is a sense in which actually it came in the somoshant nayak's uh, talk if you if you are there so uh, so you can define a, something called uh, measurable operators and you can, you can so this is an analog of measurable functions and you can take all measurable operators and then you can the trace what you have on uh, the formula where you can extend it to the uh, to this uh, bigger set of all measurable uh, uh, operators and then uh, <coughs> there you can uh, define uh, the uh, the uh, you can define uh, the same way that you define the classical in this space namely all measurable operators which has uh, Tau of mod x to the power p finite. Okay, you can also define it uh, it in that way, but obviously it is more technical. This is, this way, uh, this measurable operators and the theory is little technical. So, but but that can that can be done. So, so one good uh, two good references. Uh, one is that uh, this LP spaces associated with Fondam algebra by uh, P Z and Shu, and uh, um, Okay, so uh, uh, one is his lecture note actually by Tarp, and another way is that uh, a book of P Z and Shu uh, on non commutative LP spaces. So there are other ways uh, in which you can define non commutative LP spaces, and all those are in uh, Tarp's book. Uh, even if you don't have a trace, you can you can you can define a non commutative LP space using some technique, some some definitions of Hagar, but but I don't need that. Okay, so so obviously you have uh, you have this non commutative LP space. Now, uh, now, what you do? You def, uh, you replace uh, 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 this l infinity omega or l p omega by our this space l p m, and and uh, what is the what should be the analog of uh, measure preserving transformation? 
So that should be uh, the automorphisms from the on, on, on the fundamental algebra, which preserves uh, trace, right? Because uh, because uh, measure preserving transformations, they used to uh, preserve the measure. Now we have non commutative analog of measure, which is trace, and then then a measure measure preserving preserving transformation in non commutative setting should be should be, should uh, should preserve trace and should be a yeah, you know, linear operator from automorphism, automorphism on the fundamental algebra for the fundamental algebra. Then, so uh, what Lance proved is actually that for all x in the fundamental algebra, and you take this m to a probability space, uh, we have a convergence. Okay, this, uh, this, this uh, you can define that discrete average in the same way, the same way you define the uh, commutative uh, discrete average, and those averages they converge. This px is some uh, a kind of projection, uh, but the the one important important point is that, that now uh, you need to replace uh, pointwise uh, convergence almost everywhere convergence by something, and he came up with uh, this convergence uh, notion of convergence which is called almost uniformly. Okay, so this is a very good. Uh, this is one of the uh, I think major uh, uh, this, this algorithm theorem itself was a major uh, breakthrough. Um, in non commutative ergodic theory. So this is uh, kind of like a, like a Barkov, but, but this measure space has finite measure and also you don't have maximal ergodic inequality. So he did not est establish ma maximal ergodic inequality. So you, uh, for LP, for, L, uh, for if you have a, you start with the X to be from LP, then you don't know that if you have this kind of convergence or not. So, but, but Anyway, so little, but 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 those kind of convergence for LP was open for a long time. So, uh, but in between, uh, people made significant uh, contributions. Conje, uh, Dang, Nock, and uh, generalized Lance's result for multi-parameter case. And for you can also consider uh, uh, averages uh, when you have an action of a group on the fundamental algebra. Even in the commutative case, a lot of work uh, have been done in that direction. So you know, had a uh, gave a weak type one one inequality. So uh, and also, but but one thing that was very much clear, uh, clear in those times uh, that uh, this 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 AU convergence, this almost uniformly convergence, uh, this this notion was quite quite uh, quite nice. It was working nicely at that time, but. But 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 what, what is the main problem to, of having a Dunford Swaj ergodic theorem or the kind of ergodic theorem I was talking about? So so we have a notion of convergence, we have discrete average, everything. So but but but, but maybe we could we could uh, we could try Barnack's principle, but that that but, but but that's tricky. So so why it is tricky? So let me just go back a little and uh, concentrate on this. Okay. So uh, this is Barnard's principle, individual ergodic theorem for a dense subspace. So now maybe we can replace it by individual ergodic theorem uh, uh, for a dense sub subspace again, but now uh, this notion of convergence is new. This is maybe almost uniformly convergence, plus a maximal ergodic inequality. But for maximal ergodic, ergodic inequality, you need, some, uh, you need an operator like M, okay? But this T and F now, if you look at, if you think of non commutative situation, this T and X actually just you, you think, think the fundamental algebra is uh, matrix algebra if, if, if you don't have. Uh, so then this, uh, this is this, all this T and F, they, they are actually operators. And you take the mod and, and the supremum of operators, they, they do not make sense because, so we can do it for real numbers. This is a complete uh, system and everything, but, but you cannot make sense of a uh, maximal operator. So you cannot make, make sense of, this kind of maximal ergodic inequality. So that was the main, uh, main, uh, main, uh, main uh, problem of establishing this uh, uh, dunford swartz ergodic theorem and so on. But, 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 but then, then actually, uh, PZA came up with a very, very nice idea. So let, let me, let me just uh, take you through this. So, so what you, what you did is that. So, uh, so ultimately, ultimately, what you 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 have to define supremum of a sequence of positive operators, say. But but you cannot do that. But also, you don't need. Uh, ultimately, what you want, you want a maximal ergodic inequality. So it involves something with norm. So so if you if you can uh, if you can uh, make sense of supremum of 
uh, xn or mod xn uh, a sequence of operators uh, you cannot make sense of that uh, but but you can you can make sense of norm of that so so what i'm trying to say is that uh, so maybe you cannot make sense of this m but you can make sense uh, make sense of this norm of mfp the lp norm of mfp so so that can be done so so pz uh, showed this that you cannot sense of a you cannot uh, have a sense of maximal function but you can have a analog uh, a non commodity analog of maximum uh, norm of a maximal function okay and that was done use uh, by introducing this space lp m l infinity so this is uh, this is actually a vector valued non commodity lp space okay uh, vector valued uh, lp space so so this if this m is just omega so this is just a vector valued space you can uh, all like all functions from omega to l infinity such so that integration norm of uh, if l infinity to the p is bounded and we have a natural norm the bochner space usual bochner space so so obviously i mean the kind of norm we are talking they should they should come from this kind of a bochner space a vector valued space but 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 but, but uh, the norm came in a very complicated way and and the motivation was from operator space theory so you can so you can uh, actually you can the, the, this, uh, if this p is infinity then l infinity of m comma l infinity this space should be uh, a injective uh, the operator space tensor product of uh, l infinity and uh, von neumann algebra and so if, if p is one it should be projective operator space, operator space tensor product and then an lp space are always complex interpolation between them so that was the point of view was taken by pza so and from that actually he could uh, get the, the description of uh, a, a good uh, notion of norm on this lp m l infinity which is given by uh, this but anyway but so so now and and this is a very nice space it has banach space it is a banach space and everything so uh, and it has a dual so a lot of things uh, it behaves well with complex interpolations and everything so uh, but but main uh, thing is that now we have a notion of uh, norm of a maximal function but not for maximal functions and uh, <clears throat> and so so now it, uh, you can you can attempt to uh, find a danford schwarz uh, ergodic theorem so just just one thing um uh, i want to i want to uh, uh, say so uh, if uh, if you have a sequence of positive uh, uh, operators in xn uh, then this norm is uh, the dis the description of this norm is much better so uh, if you have uh, so this so uh, if you have a sequence xn uh, so this lp m l infinity is actually a collection of all sequences xn lp which satisfy a certain factorization property and you have a norm induced by those factorizations so but if you have uh, all these xns uh, are positive then actually that can that, that norm is nothing but there, there should be an a which dominates all those measurize all those xns and this infinity of infinity of all those a's should be the norm that we are looking for but that is intuitive uh, if you so, so in that way that is the same for uh, commodity well this space but, but for general space uh, general uh, xn sequences this is the right way of thinking and okay so i want to show you one thing which is false in non commodity well this spaces um, so point wise inequality like this a plus g mod of a plus g less than or equal to mod a plus mod g so this is not true for operators so so but but this type of this type of inequalities you always use we always use in our uh, analysis if you do analysis on lp space free and so whatever but but this is not true and you can yeah, and to appreciate the difficulty you can try to you can try to prove this inequality that norm of mod x minus mod y uh, uh, is less than or equal to is is less, less than or equal to norm of x minus y so this is just one line just triangle inequality in commutative lp space uh but 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 this is but this is difficult in non commutative well space and even this is not true for p is equal to 1 if you take take in a uh, uh, certain p class in finite dimensional then this is not true and for other p this is also not true uh, true with a constant cp so so is it the constant so 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 things get uh, difficult but uh, so you cannot use point wise inequalities but but this uh, but that you can somehow compensate using this vector valued uh, uh, non commutative lp spaces and actually and and actually uh, uh, you have some triangle inequalities there 
so so you can compensate compensate some of some of them not 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 all of them but some of them you can co compensate so 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 many uh, many point wise inequalities in uh, commodity situation you can uh, you can find out that they are actually a normal inequality in disguise so <laughs> Okay, so now I'll describe. So, how much time do we have? Can yeah, uh, yeah, there is. Means you can take. Uh, means there is another twenty minutes, and but you can take more than that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so there is a question in the chat box. Okay, uh, yeah. you can just look into that. Oh. The, the, the second p equal to two constant is square root two. Oh, let me. Oh, okay, so yeah, maybe yeah. So, but but I'm not, but I'm not talking about uh, yeah. So I, it's just uh, just 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 something that I want to show you. If you want, you can go back and you can you can you can try to see what are the base constants, how how to prove them. But that is my, not my aim, obviously. I I just wanted to show you that how things uh, things are different. Okay, that 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 is that was my motivation. So, so I know this is not true with the constant one that I already already said also, but. Yeah, so, so you can appreciate the difficulty. That's what I'm saying. Because proving this type of things in community development well is just, uh, I mean, uh, just just bachelor's mathematics. Okay, so now, uh, so now with all this, we can now state a Junge Shu algorithm theorem. Okay, so let me just, yeah. So we have a, uh, if you remember, Junge Shu's algorithm theorem was like this. Uh, if you had a operator uh, which was uh, bounded from L1 to L1 and also L infinity to L infinity, I mean, means they are defined on, on some dense surface. So, so uh, and it was positive. So you can make sense of all of all of those. So we have a, a linear map from M to M from the fundamental algebra to fundamental algebra and which is a contraction. So fundamental algebra, they have, they have a natural uh, operator norm. So an operator norm is nothing but the, I should, I should have said that uh, this L infinity, uh, the analog of L infinity space over a fundamental algebra is the fundamental algebra itself with the with the operator norm. So fundamental algebra is is contained in some uh, in some. Okay, this is another question. I think does the factoring through M to the uh, No, no, no. It, it it does not. Okay. Uh, which which third coordination? Can you just unmute it and uh, ask me? Uh, Katabulos. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, I don't I don't understand. But uh, this condition: tau of t x less than or equal to tau of x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I should have. X positive there. Right, right, right. This is for X positive. Yeah, I should have, because because tau is not defined always, right? But for positive, it, it is always defined. So that's why uh, you need uh, that. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry for that. There should be a positive. So this is true for positive X. This this third condition. So okay. So uh, but this is a condition like the third condition is like something like that. T is a contraction from L1 to L1, but. And the second one is uh, is actually T is positive. Positive means you took a positive operator, and it's uh, and T sends it to the positive operator. Positive operator. And then first one is just T is a contraction on the fundamental level. So now uh, this one is a weak type one on inequality, and it was proved by Yodo. Okay, so this is not by Jung issue. This, this, uh, this was by Yodo. So what he proved that if you have a uh, positive element in L one, uh, and then you take a lambda positive, then there is a projection E uh, such that you have this uh, this thing supremum uh, over n greater than equal to zero operator norm of E a and T x E. Uh, uh, this is less than or equal to lambda, and uh, trace of one minus E is bounded by norm x L one by lambda. So this is you can, you can if you go to go back to look uh, go back to weak type one on inequality, and if you Try to see so so this is what actually it should be yeah so and and then okay so, uh, so uh, now now for the for the strong PP inequality now we have you don't know how, so so you, you just don't 
get confused by this notation supremum over n greater n greater than or equal to zero a n t x. So so in commutative setting you have a meaning of this. Okay, so you have this if this this x is a function, then you can make sense of supremum of a sequence of functions. But here you don't have a meaning, but we still write in this way. So this whole thing, this norm has a meaning. Okay, uh, using this those factorizations. Okay. This norm has meaning. So, so this is the, uh, the the left hand quantity is nothing but the norm of a maximal function, LP norm of ma maximal function, and then this is bounded by some uh, constant CP, and then LP norm of x. So this is the this is strong type uh, PP inequality, and then obviously then uh, then showing convergence uh, is is also not easy. So but 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 they they, they did it, and they they found many applications of uh, this. And uh, but but I'm not going uh, into those. So uh, yeah. So 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 this is uh, really was really a big breakthrough in, in non comedy ergodic theorem. So the, so actually the previous ergodic theorems were, were all in like 1976, 1978 or something like that. So uh, it took almost 30 years uh, to solve this problem. And uh, and for uh, and actually this 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 concept of this norm of a maximum function is years. Uh, non commutative uh, vector load lp space so they 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 played a very major role and what they did is actually uh, the this jung and shu they, they the one of the major contribution uh, in this paper where they proved this uh, done for swartz uh, non commutative done for swartz ergodic theorem was actually actually a real interpolation theorem like marsin quiz they could they could find some kind of a real interpolation theorem of marsin quiz from that they could deduce this okay so, so there are many uh, progress, uh, not many, but there are some good progress uh, that have been made. So, first one is uh, by groups of polynomial growth. So, the, 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 this this theorem that you this, you see, um, you, you can you can replace uh, this this uh, this averages this discrete time averages um, if 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 there is a group acting on the fundamental algebra. You can you can also you can also uh, do something like that. And if the group is of polynomial growth, then Hong, Liao, and Wang, they proved that actually uh, you have a non-commutative ergodic theorem. And <clears throat> but, but for general amenable group, it's not known. It is an open problem. Uh, if you've done for Swartz kind of ergodic theorem or, or, or a Barkov kind of ergodic, sorry, Barkov kind of ergodic theorem is true or not for general uh, uh, amenable group action on Hong algebra, it is not known till now, but they had made a good progress. Okay. And then uh, 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 Weiner Wittner ergodic theorem. So this is actually uh, you can think this. Uh, you have this discrete average, but you can also have a weighted discrete average. So you can talk about weighted discrete discrete average, and you can talk about convergence. Okay, and so and so the and in commutative situation, uh, uh, Weiner and Wittner they had ergodic theorems uh, this, um, to, uh, that can that can tell you some something, and uh, Hong and uh, Mu uh, actually uh, on non commutative analog and also for free group action. So, uh, by Claire uh, De La Rose, so, so this, this, this paper also had some good uh, uh, impact, some very good impact on, on fundamental algebra theory. But, but, uh, but I want to mention one result from Hong Lia Wang. So, but all those results, uh, this, this previous results in these three papers, so all of them were actually again uh, for all P. So, so if you, you, you uh, like like Danford Swartz uh, or Barkov, so you have this uh, ergodic theorem for all p in, in some sense, but uh, but for a single p, so actually uh, Hong Liao Wang could prove um, uh, a, a good theorem that if t is a LP, LP to LP positive operator, so the t inverse is also positive, and t is power power bounded, okay. Then T also satisfies a maximal ergodic inequality. So, uh, so, but you, now you need to uh, okay. So you need uh, power bounded, but two sided. I mean, uh, this T uh, T square T cube they are bounded, and also T inverse T uh, to the power minus two. They are also. I mean, all those norms are uniformly bounded. Okay. So, so that means for uh, positive isometries, for positive isometries. Uh, uh, positive invertible isometries, the problem is solved. You have a Tuleka or Stein type ergodic theorem, but but not for general uh, isometry. So Tuleka and Stein times uh, uh, Tuleka, uh, Tuleka and Stein's ergodic theorem for positive isometries, 
will uh, cannot uh, cannot be recovered from uh, cannot be recovered from the, the uh, Hong Liao Wang's uh, algorithm. But if the isometry is uh, also on to, then it's okay. So natural questions. So there are many natural natural questions. So uh, uh, like uh, what about Tulekas algorithm theorem for positive isometries? Uh, Akaglu's algorithm theorem, okay, for for general positive contractions, and Kahn's algorithm theorem, okay. We could we could, we could uh, do something about that, uh, okay. That is a question, I think. Yeah. So, uh, so let me just uh, define what is what should be a Lamparty operator. So, uh, if you remember, I told you Lamparty operators they, they separate supports. So here also we have something like that. So, but we define it only on projections. So that have some advantage. You can do it for general case also. So we have two projections E and F, which are zero. If you, if you think of two functions, the uh, uh, such that their product is zero, then they have disjoint support. And then we also then we need this TE star TF is equal to TE TF star is equal to zero. So, but for non-commutative, you need something something twist is there that you need. Um, in commutative, you just wanted TE TF is equal to zero or something like that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> okay. So now what what we can prove is that if you have a uh, Lamparty operator. And I should say again that all positive isometries they are Lamparty always. Okay, so so you can if you can prove a algorithm theorem for Lamparty operators, then we are done. We, we have Einstein to Tuleka and Stein's algorithm, right? So so what we prove is this one that if you have a if you have a uh, operator T which is Lamparty, uh, okay. So you you take closed convex hull of all positive Lamparty contraction, and you take SOT closer. Strong operator topology closer. So convex hull of Lampar Lamparty operators. So 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 in that so uh, uh, so so any 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 operator in that uh, convex hull is uh, obviously a positive Lamparty contra uh, positive contraction may not be Lamparty uh, surely. But so so you have a ergodic theorem for that. And in classical uh, LP space, if this uh, von Neumann is the uh, is a classical uh, ln infinity omega. Then actually uh, we can recover Akaglu's ergodic theorem. So, so, but but here we can we, we cannot uh, recover Junge um, uh, 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 Shu's ergodic theorem from from this. Okay, uh, uh, we have a we have really we have a good class, but we cannot deduce Junge Shu. So, so, so there are many difficulties uh, to prove this theorem. So, <clears throat> okay, but I'll come to it later. So, now second one is for. Uh, uh, for 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 power bounded Lamparty operator, so we have a positive Lamparty operator, so that so, so, so that uh, so, so that the uh, adjoint is also Lamparty and it is power bounded. Then again, we have a uh, we have a we have an ergodic theorem. So this is another ergodic theorem. This is the ergodic theorem of Kahn. Okay. So so you, you see all these ergodic theorems. They are they are for single p. So that is the main difference that we have with the previous ergodic theorems. Okay. Um, even Junge Shu's algorithm, theorem, which is very effective, but but for all p. So, and and the main main idea is actually is this one. So if you have a, uh, a so so there are two kind of methods that that you do. So first one for this convex hull of Lamparty contraction, positive Lamparty contraction. So we actually construct a dilation. Okay. So in the we, we can we can talk about talk about dilation in the category of LP space. Actually, yeah. And uh, and that 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 is a natural concept. So if you have a if you have a, some t, you, you want to view it as a uh, as an isometry, and uh, you have some qj, okay. And 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 then what you observe is that uh, that for a Lamparty operator, we have a we have a dilation, and 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 the reason is very simple. For a Lamparty operator t, you can find a s. You have a Lamparty contraction T. You can find a S such that this inequality, this equality is true. Norm T x to the power p plus norm S x to the power p is equal to norm x to the power p. And then you can construct dilation. So, so this is if you remember uh, the construction of uh, Natch Fayard's dilation theorem. So uh, we have these defect operators. Uh, this defect operator uh, used to play the role of S. 
but still we can uh, do it with uh, this t um, if t is lamp party contraction you can find something like like that and if something like that is found then we can always uh, construct a dilation the same type of construction but we actually prove a little stronger kind of dilation theorem but that i'm not going to talk and so the the main th thing is to uh, is that we have a structure theorem for the for for lamp party contraction that 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 helped us a lot uh, to get a dilation theorem and we get a we, we for from from the uh, from from that actually so we have first this dilation theorem for lamparty contractions then but then we can go to convex hull also and get a dilation theorem using uh, some tools by uh, fackler okay but only in dilation so you can dilate only up to some certain big integers and from this if the fonder algebra has qwp then we have a, a non commutative massive conjecture uh, uh, for for non commutative massive uh, inequality for this operator so anyway so but uh, there is a one crucial point that i i should tell that if uh, whenever you have an isometry this uh, whenever you have a, you have a dilation like p is equal to q e to the power n is equal to q e to the power n j then you can you can look the ergodic average and you can uh, see very easily uh, that uh, it's enough to prove a ergodic uh, maximum inequality for uh, this u okay and now we 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 we, we do this uh, uh, we we prove a ergodic theorem for positive isometry and so we we actually use some uh, calderon type transfer principle and this is very magical you can say that actually uh, the problem so we have you have this t on some uh, uh, you have this u some isometry on some lp space and you actually want to find a maximal ergodic inequality for average then you can actually it's enough to show Uh, a maximal uh, ergodic inequality for shifts for shifts on uh, a semi commutative uh, lp space okay a semi commutative non, uh, non commutative lp space so uh, and uh, and and this is this is done by uh, actually uh, uh, jung shu jung shu can tells you that you can do this you can you can for semi commutative commutative lp, LP space and, and if you have a shift uh, on that so you can you can actually This, 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 uh, you can use the Jung-Shu ergodic uh, theorem, and the one major steps uh, step is that uh, we, we had to show that the positive Lamparty contraction they extend to uh, positive contraction on, on this vector valued uh, non-commutative LP space. And actually, isometries they extend to isometries on this vector valued non-commutative LP space, and 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 this is uh, true for uh, completely positive contraction always by by result of Hagalu. Uh, and, uh, and 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 two more authors, but for general positive contraction, this is not true. So completely positive, uh, but we do we do not need uh, this extra information that Lamparty uh, somehow we managed to uh, get uh, this this result which Hagerup and others proved uh, for positive uh, Lamparty contractions. Obviously, if we if we restrict for uh, restrict the theorem for completely positive non non uh, uh, completely positive Lamparty contraction, then it's okay. so this is the this is the idea dilation and then this transfer principle so you have you have some uh, you want to prove maximal ergodic inequality on, on some space you can transfer using calderon 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 uh, principle to some other space where it's much simpler and you can use jung shu no ergodic theorem and second part is also uh, the kahn type of ergodic theorem also depends on uh, some some structure theorems for lamparty operators Power bounded Lamparty operators with adjoint power bounded, and uh, and 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 some, sometimes those proofs are quite algebraic. Okay, uh, quite uh, quite algebraic. And uh, one thing that you use a lot is actually in inside trace you have little commut uh, commut uh, commutative uh, commutativity inside inside trace. So you can exploit that. Uh, we try to exploit that as much as possible, but that is is just very that is that is actually known uh, quite well known that kind of trick. so and but we have some side results some 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 implications like uh, you can you can you can define something like completely lamparty so that means that not only t but if you take tensors with identity uh, t tensor identity is again lamparty so like uh, so this kind those kind of notions you can also uh, introduce and we show that this being completely complete uh, completely lamparty is equivalent to uh, two lamparty that means you just tensor t with Two cross two uh, 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 identity matrix on two cross two matrices, and then that is Lamparty. That will be equivalent to T is completely Lamp completely Lamparty. And in the classification of T, 
we had a jordan homomorphism so that would turn out to be a uh, just just a star homomorphism so much simpler so and this generalizes some result of juan and junge and uh, sharman and also we, we 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 can do something like this for positive uh, if you have a positive uh, uh, isometric uh, positive lambert operator then uh, uh, if you have uh, it turns uh, if then, then completely positive is equivalent to completely lambert in some sense actually positive completely positive lambert that means automatically completely lambert and positive okay so so that is another equivalent uh, so in in that sense this this result is also com a complement of one uh, one's result uh, uh, so, um, <coughs> so, uh, so one more thing is that so we so at least uh, we have this, uh, this result for complex hall of positive contractions, positive Lamparty contraction. But for Lamparty contraction, there are there are isometries, right? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, isometries are always Lamparty contractions. So at least for isometry, we can prove. So we have a you know, uh, much general result than uh, Einstein Tuleka uh, and Stein's ergodic theorem. And so, so that means we have better than uh, we, we have a non commodity Barkov also. So, so, all those theorems are included in, in here. But a good thing would be to actually uh, know the convex hull. If you know the, concretely that, that object, then it would be very good. And so, just two remarks. So, we have also some purely non commodity phenomena. So, one thing is that. Uh, so the dilation theorem I showed you uh, for is this convex hull of Lamparty contractions, positive Lamparty contractions. So actually, so uh, actually in commutative setting, that 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 convex hull becomes all positive contractions. And for any positive contraction, we have a dilation uh, by it was proved by Akaglu. And uh, but in classical situation, that was that, that is not true. So there are positive, actually completely positive, completely contractive maps. On certain P classes, which which are not dial, uh, which you cannot dilate. So uh, this was this, this was proved by uh, proved by Chunge and uh, Lemardi. But 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 uh, but we can show that they are example, uh, which you cannot dilate, still satisfies a, a ergodic theorem, and, and and amusingly that uses classical Akaglu's ergodic theorem. Okay, so so that means uh, the situation is quite quite different and. Actually, this absence of Akaglu's dilation theorem is a major is a major um, uh, uh, obstacle. Um, uh, but but we can do some, uh, we can produce a, uh, produce something like this uh, kind of result. And also, there are many results uh, of Lampard operators. Like if you have a po if you have a positive operator uh, with inverse also positive, then then it automatically becomes Lampard. So can't prove uh, those kind of results. But for our case, uh, those are not true. Even in the completely positive setting. So yeah, so 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 uh, okay, and also a uh, this convergence you can do something uh, almost following this Hong Liao Wang idea. Yeah, so uh, so that that's all. Um, so so actually, uh, one thing is one thing is that uh, one thing always happens that uh, many, many times uh, one thing happens that uh, that we we have uh, this pointwise convergence, but. Uh, uh, we do not have a notion of uh, point. Okay, so uh, so uh, pointwise convergence and those things uh, uh, they become difficult. But 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 proofs become more uh, what uh, concrete in some sense because a lot of extra informations we, we try to cut uh, uh, try to just uh, so yeah that's it. So here are some references. Uh, this is Konje. This is Hong uh, Lia Wang. This is Sinus Tuleka and this is Junge and, and this is our paper on, uh, which is on archive. You can see this is the first paper, I think one of the major papers of lands uh, in this direction. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for the insightful talk. Uh, so